Okay guys, this is going to be a relatively special episode of Grilling with Good Dogs where I'm going to be cleaning the grill. I'm using something new this time. Uh, usually I use this Citrus Safe barbecue cleaner, but uh, Zeus has given me something from his company. I, I believe it's proprietary chemical here. I'm just, I'm just going to call it the cleansing uh, material or something of that nature. I don't want to say what its real name is. Anyway, what he told me to do was put about two-thirds of the cleanser mixed with water and make sure you can agitate it well with like a spray or something. So I have a old Windex bottle here that I measured. This will be one cup, I mean, yeah, one cup of the cleanser and then half cup of the water. So I'm gonna fill it up with the cleanser and then put the water in. Grill with your dogs, let's see how this works. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the line. I don't have it. There you go, we're on the line. I have the water heating up behind me. He just said that uh, hot water would be the best. So it, it feels like the consistency of that like Dawn dish soap kind of thing. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, so the process we're gonna be using is spraying it on, letting it rest for a little while, and then spraying water. I'm gonna fill this up with water and spray it off with water and then you know, scour everything real good. So we'll see how that works. Again, getting some hot water ready to fill up the next half cup so we'll see how this works i know that they have used this the guys that zeus works with has used this on their grills before so i'm just going to be an additional guinea pig and this video is more of documentation of uh, how well it does okay. i filled up with the water so we're at that line i have not mixed it yet so you can see we're still dark down here that matches the original material and i got up to here with that filled it up with water so I'm gonna try and mix it maybe with a stick. I don't wanna shake it and agitate it too much because I want the agitation to come with the spray. So we'll be doing that. I'm gonna get the pieces of the um, grill separated so we can clean each one of them. See how this goes. Grill with the good dogs. Okay, I filled up with the water. So we're at that line. I have not mixed it yet. So you can see we're still dark down here. That matches the original material. And I got up to here with that, filled it up with water. So I'm gonna try and mix it maybe with a stick. I don't wanna shake it and agitate it too much because I want the agitation to come with the spray. So we'll be doing that. I'm gonna get the pieces of the um, grill separated so we can clean each one of them. See how this goes. Grill with the good dogs. Okay, so here it is. I've been just kind of working it back and forth like that. The grill's second apart. I'm gonna vacuum out all the ash first. I wanna give this thing a fair shot at primarily cutting down the grease. So I'm gonna leave it in here. This is some hot water. Let it stay warm, keep it active. I'm gonna go vacuum out the grill and then um, got everything set out. So the first thing we're gonna do is spray all the parts down with this. Now I know that one that the, the, fire, the fire guard is uh, pretty chunked up right now. So I'm gonna scrape some of it off. And again, I really just wanna test this on how clean, it, how much it gets the grease off. Uh, the layers of grease off of this thing. I don't really care. I, I can scrape off chunks and stuff. So see how it works out. I don't have a... See how much grease gets trapped. I mean, how much ash gets trapped down there. I already pulled out that, but lots of ash. Always want to clean that out. Baby Gee, get away from there. All right. Got as much of the ash and chunk out as I could. All right. So what are my expectations? Well, Main thing is I want to spray this down because it should be this color, this brown copperish color you see here. Of course, after use, it's black. If it gets that thing clean, I'll be 100% blown away and impressed. Cork, stop that. I'm going to clean these things off. If it can get the grills back to normal, I'm happy. The flame guard, don't really care. I'm just seeing what happens to that thing, honestly. So those are my expectations. Hopefully we can see something cool like that. Get this nice and cleaned up again. Back to looking kind of like it's new, but let's go ahead and try that stuff real All quick. Right. So here's the stuff, nice and warm. I'm gonna spray this thing down first. I'm gonna move on to the grills, get that all nice and good. Now again, we're gonna let it suds on there for a little while. Let's see what it is. I don't know what any kind of active ingredients are on this thing. Again, as far as I know, this is a relatively new proprietary chemical they have but they do say that it's 100% safe to ingest so I really want to get that area good and clean 
see how it works. There's something, we got something that's sprayed out a little bit more. And you see that it's already blasting some of that grease off. It's gonna get yellow. I'm gonna lose video in a second. So for the grills, I'm gonna switch to dabbing it on this uh, paper towel. Because it actually is kind of thick at the bottom now. I don't know if I mixed it up enough or not. But I'm going to rub it on there. Um, probably going to get a, go get a copper scour. Or maybe like a scotch Bright pad or something. To really hit this stuff. But you can see. It's eating some of it. We'll see what happens when we start cleaning it off. Yeah. Let me work on it for a little while. See how it's coming. Grilling with the good dogs. Testing technology for a brighter future. Okay, I have applied the cleanser, so all the surfaces, to the best of my abilities, which may not be good enough. You can kind of see the shine, sheen on a lot of it. I'm gonna give it maybe five more minutes or so, and I'm gonna hit it with the water. When I hit it with the water, I'm gonna hit it with that scour pad, which I gotta go grab. Go with the good dogs. Okay, again, uh, my measure of success is going to be primarily on this surface, how clean it gets it. Got the warm bottle of water right here. Going to douse it down really good. Hit it with the scour pad. I cannot do that while holding the camera, so we'll see how that goes. Those I'm probably just going to hit under the uh, spigot and hit it with the scour pad. Same thing with the flame guard. So let's get to it, see how this does. I'll update you once I start cleaning this thing a bit. Go the good dogs. Testing technology for a better future, brighter future, and more grilling. All right, so we landed somewhere in the middle. You can definitely see that it's taking off a good amount of the black. It was pure black a little while ago, and um, now it's a little more brown. Still got some deposit in there. Uh, well, one thing I did want to point out, this was the scour pad I used, and I mean, it was pretty much this exact shape when I started. And it, I mean, it cleans off so easily. That's one thing I can tell you. This, this brush, I thought it was actually a brass brush, not stainless steel. It hasn't been that clean in a long time. So when you're cleaning off, you're cleaning utensils, it comes off easy for sure. Uh, I think right now, these still seem a little caked. All the grease is definitely off. Uh, I just washed them off so they still look a little wet. I have some ideas on how to do a better job at those right now. I think it's more of a application issue than it is a chemical issue so again for stuff that was baked on it's definitely getting it off i think i need to apply more of it um so i need to find a better application method this looks really clean now still got some water coming off of it um to really give it a good go i think i have an idea of doing the grills again in a little while but for now uh, I'm gonna put everything back together, fire it up, and let it burn off everything. You know, always something you should do every time you clean it, no matter what chemicals you use. Oh, yeah, so like I guess I didn't expect much on this one, but it did get cleaner. Look at that. So, not done testing, but that's test series one. As you can see, this is now good stainless steel color. So, it will get it off. Just gotta find the best application method. So, hope you all enjoyed that. Grilling with the good dogs. More testing coming at you at some point in time. More grilling, too. That's a big surprise I'm excited for.